dang windy out here. We are on the other side of the Rotten Range. From one of my fine viewers that I have, I was able to receive a, a donation that's gonna allow me to do this test. So, uh, right here what you see, you've got a, a standard plate carrier. Nothing fancy, I think this is a Condor. I don't even think they make this thing anymore, but it is an awesome one. It's just got a front plate on it. What, what is special about this vest is it's super fast, super easy to throw on in an emergency situation because it doesn't really matter what other type of gear you had on. You throw this on in a quick hurry and inside of it, what it's got, it's got uh, two ballistic plates that are sandwiched together. And by ballistic plates, I mean ballistic uh, fiberglass. It's made to go inside walls. Uh, and, and buildings to make them bulletproof. And then this is, this is where the donation came into, is we have uh, this, I believe this is 3A body armor. So this should stop a 34 mag. In, in past tests, I've been able to stop 30 out six rounds with three of these plates. Um, each, you can see that seam right in there. Each of these, it's a UL listing class three, but each of these plates should equal what, what one of these Kevlar uh, soft body armor panels can stop. So in, in theory, three of these will stop a 30-06, and two of these plus this should be able to. But uh, it's, I haven't had the opportunity or the ability to make that test official. Now right here, you might think that I am wasting uh, mom's best series. And what you're gonna find out is I'm not wasting them they are rancid and they're disgusting and even the chickens won't eat them and that's saying something so i'm going to put that behind the body armor and that's going to help us determine roughly crush test we're going to see if there's any crushage on the box because 180 grain 30-06 bullet traveling at over 2700 feet per second out of the muzzle what we're really seeing is is does it actually stop the bullet with the two layers with two layers of this and one panel of body armor and will that at least stop the bullet from penetrating the skin show you we got level 3a we also i also want to test it here with the trauma plate we're gonna make a bit of a correction here uh, if if i can get away with not shooting this plate i'm gonna i'm gonna try okay but here is what the material looks like now this use i've i've used this multiple times as you can see all right so it is compromised uh, this right here, that was a 30-30, I think a 160 grain, and it ended up right there. You can see how that, well, you can't see as much anymore, but it bulged that out. I'm going to try shoot for this, this area in here. This at one time had been glued together just like that other plate. Hey, sheepdog, you got to get over here, bud. Come on. Come on. Did you find a treat? What'd you find? What'd you find? Oh, a little, little spine or something all right let's get on with it all right now i actually brought this something else uh but anyway this little shoot uh, this is an english cucumber so i'm gonna put this behind the body armor see if there's any crushage okay our, these are 180 grain just your standard sierra game king Here we go, let's do this. All right, I was about nine paces back. And one other thing to remember, guys, it's been compromised quite a bit. I wanted it kind of worst case scenario anyway. So there we have the insertation and the beginning of it and that thing comes out right there fast and furious now on the second plate you can see right there the entry and then you can see the exit you can actually see that bowl is expanding now and, the, and those layers are doing just what they're supposed to do they're they're separating allowing that bullet to expand and to try tear that bullet apart that hit right in the area we wanted with the, the additional trauma plate. And, and we can see it just pulverized that cucumber right there. 
there is just not much left of it that would be a major major bruise about the size of texas let's see what happened to the toasty wonderfuls look at that crush the box okay there's a that one crush the box it even got pickle juice right inside of here okay crush those two boxes just like we kind of would expect let's see if on these ones there's i don't really see any any visible crinkling on that one maybe this will be a little bit worse it should be right here okay there's there's a little bit right here you got some crinkle damage into there what we have, check this out. This is the back side of that vest. Now for my initial investigation, I think these, there's a bunch of bits and pieces in that hole and it's deep. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a top view of this vest. That's what it looks like now. This confirms what I knew, but I needed to do the physical testing. Physical testing tells you um, absolutely what's gonna work. Two layers of that ballistic fiberglass combined with a level 3A body armor is going to stop a bullet. Is that going to hurt? Oh, it's going to hurt and it's going to hurt bad. But that bullet did not penetrate. Now this is interesting. Look, you got it, that body, that initial the fiberglass stuff doing what it was supposed to do. Just tearing that bullet apart so it's losing velocity as fast as possible. And then when you come into here, See, let just a little. Oh, there we go. Let's and, and it's it's kind of fused. I apologize, it's fused into that. It's just little bits and chunks of lead and fiberglass. There we go. There's the base of that. That bullet has been turned inside out and did its job. I'm actually astounded. The two layers of the ballistic fiberglass actually were stopped by the trauma plate. Now all that is caught inside this piece of trauma plate right here. Well, we're gonna call this one a success. The semi-homemade rifle plates worked in conjunction with the vest. And then as you can see, we did a few other tests. And uh, I gotta say the soft body armor it's pretty impressive. After doing the other tests, I did learn this, that uh, the rifle plate really, really makes a big difference. Even when the soft body armor stops a bullet on its own, oh uh, man, the results just aren't anywhere near as good as when uh, that bullet has been slowed down with a ballistic plate. Thanks for watching. Try that one more time. All right, what do we got here, bud? Huh? What do we got here?